What are your, give us your reflections on the big housing rollout of the last couple of weeks, what was in the budget yesterday. My best advice to Canadians would be don't hold your breath. In 2017, Justin Trudeau stood in front of a large building project with lots of hardworking Canadians behind him and promised a life-changing, transformational national housing strategy, and we see the transformation. House prices have doubled, rent has doubled, mortgage rates have doubled. People can't afford to put food on their table and pay the rent. And now he promises the most ambitious plan ever. I wouldn't hold my breath and I wouldn't take the bait this time because these guys are very good at the photo op. They're very good at all the right words. You even see the Minister of Housing now using really great Yimby language. Proof's always in the pudding though. They don't get the job done. What do you think about the number of programs you sell some government buildings? What do you think of that? We'll start here. The number of programs is just more of their of their their political speak and their talking points. Yeah. And all great Yimby language, it's all great, great language. The, but they won't get the job done, they never do. And in fact, now, all the stuff they're doing to borrow money now, to create more debt and to try to spend more money, they believe they can spend their way out of a debt problem. They're actually making the, the, the materials you need to build the homes more expensive. En français, est-ce que vous risquez quelques mots là-dessus sur le logement, M. Chisholm? Est-ce que vous avez l'impression, si je comprends bien là, vos déclarations en anglais, que le gouvernement Trudeau annonce, fait des annonces, mais qu'il ne va pas suivre et qu'il n'y aura pas en réalité des logements qui vont être construits? My French isn't that good. I didn't catch all of that. Sorry. So what's your thoughts on, on it in French? So you want me to do it in French yeah. as well? No, I, I probably can't do it off the cuff. Sorry. Do you? I mean, the government is spending a lot of money on housing. Is that the right focus for the federal government to get, generally, not this government, where is the federal government supposed to be? The solution to the housing crisis in this country is a classically small c conservative solution. It's less government. We need to get, the, as Pierre says, the local gatekeepers out of the way. The process required to build a house, the, the, the long, painful, expensive, approvals process to get a home built in this country is precisely what's wrong with the system. And it's wrong at every level of government. We have too much government and this Trudeau government just keeps adding layers and layers of bureaucracy and costs. That's making everything more expensive, especially housing. Fundamentally, these guys don't get it. They think they can spend their way out of a multi-trillion dollar crisis. We can't do that. We need to get out of the way. These guys don't understand it. Canadians can't afford these guys. Thanks very much. Good morning. So uh, today, uh, you know, having heard this week that the procurement watchdog had found that the Trudeau government had stacked their rules in favor of a favorite firm, McKinsey and Company, where conservatives have long said that Justin Trudeau had been favoring this firm with its uh, close uh, ties with Dominic Barton and, and Justin Trudeau. This uh, is with the backdrop of the arrive scam events that are unfolding today. Now, the context is really important because after eight years of Justin Trudeau, insiders seems to be the only ones who are getting ahead. We see that with McKinsey and the Auditor General reports and Procurement uh, Ombudsman reports that we've seen have laid this out very clearly. Just like McKinsey has been favored, so too has GC Strategies been favored. It was revealed that they were allowed to write a $25 million contract to the exclusion of all other bidders. And of course, they were successful in being awarded that $25 million contract. So we've had hearings on this at parliamentary committees and the head of GC Strategies, Mr. Firth, refused to answer questions about his role in Justin Trudeau's $60 million arrive scam. Why have the Liberals made Mr. Firth their favorite, making him a millionaire? Well, other companies have had to uh, go, do without or not been successful in their bids. We even heard testimony from KPMG, a firm with 10,000 employees in Canada, 40 corporate offices, that they were told by a Trudeau government official that if they wanted to work on the $60 million arrive scam, that they would have to be a subcontractor to the two guys working out of their basement, GC Strategies. This, of course, doesn't make any sense. And so this is why we put the questions to Mr. Firth. Um, what, you know, what did he give to the Liberals? to earn this favor that he has received. Now, of course, he refused to answer questions and the House of Commons has found him in contempt. Today, he will be admonished uh, following that finding of contempt 
and he will have to answer questions. And this is what common sense conservatives have been pressing for all along, answers for Canadians. This is why we put forward a motion to have the Auditor General investigate the $60 million Justin Trudeau scandal that Justin Trudeau and every one of his ministers and every one of his members voted against that Auditor General audit. So while they're trying to cover up for corruption from a tired government that after eight years it's very clear that they're not in it for everyday Canadians but instead in it just for the elite and Ottawa insiders, Common Sense Conservatives are pressing for answers and today we're going to continue that pursuit with our questions of Mr. Mr. Firth and I look forward to, uh, to your questions following his appearance this afternoon. Thank you very much.